Hi there, Ace Lovers. Um, just looking back over this year, really, on this video, one I've wanted to do for quite a while because I think it's always good to look back and reflect on how things have gone. So the footage you're seeing is from uh, middle of March or thereabouts from this year. So um, it doesn't seem uh, well, it does seem a very very long time ago to be honest with you. Um, but as the summer draws to a close, I just thought I'd take a, a look and share some thoughts. Um, on how the year's gone and what we might do better next year, really. And there's uh, there's Hunter, just made an appearance too. So first thing is uh, Shana. I give my, I give myself one out of five for this. Um, this is what I put out in the front of the house in a very exposed position, got very badly burnt, but he's actually um, recovering. It's uh, it's growing some new leaves, so we're hopeful that was going to be okay. And that's uh, another one I bought. Um, to replace it almost but um, understanding the one surviving um, that's great I've now got two but that's really what it should like no rating there because it is a new plant moving on to Shishi Gashira um, nice plant bought that a year or so ago it was a bit bedraggled and a bit um, overgrown in its pot really but it's, it's done well this year so I'll give that a four out of five and ace of red wine um just two out of five for this one i think the stems and the plant looks really healthy actually um but it, because i put it down by the side of the conservatory high winds etc the winds have uh, kind of shriveled the leaves but it but it's hung on in there and it's taken all summer to get there so uh not so bad atropoporium um, very common nice little plant really just turning some nice colors um a bit early perhaps but it looks nice it's been a great plant all summer so we'll give that a four out of five of course what i'm evaluating here really is my own performance not the trees it's what i've done with them i suppose uh, like this second suga here is uh, slightly scaring me because this isn't dwarf it's uh, it would grow into a full-grown tree but i put it in a big pot and it's done really well this year and looks absolutely fantastic and here's the bamboo i posted um a couple of weeks ago so there's, there's a video on that if you're interested uh, again, can't re-rate really that, but uh, just thought I'd include it so that next year we'll be able to see progress, which is always nice. Might be nice if, if you do your own video like this, to be honest with you, and give yourself a little score and give some thought to next year. Um, it's just a way of reflection, really. And here's Firecracker. Um, slight burning of the leaves due to wind. You can clearly see here the wind whistles down the side of my house against this fence and causes a problem, but uh, nearly there. And, and this is six out of five. Um, you know, it's my rating scheme. Why not, really? Uh, I'm just so pleased with this tree. It stayed this lovely sort of pinky here all summer. I just think it's in exactly the right spot. Honestly, more luck than judgment, but uh, I'll take that one. By who looking lovely, and we'll have that lovely yellow bark in the winter, actually. But as you can see, um, some of the leaves have got a bit crispy. Um, too much exposure to wind and sun, and that's my fault. Um, but we've moved it into a more sheltered space and saved any further damage. Uh, in Abishadara, um, again, very renowned for being really heat tolerant. Uh, th this isn't heat damage, it's wind. It, I had it down by the side of the fence again, and that wind whistling through between the houses has done some damage there, so 3 out of 5. I'm going to give this 4 out of 5, actually. Um, this is the one that I did a video of, looking really rather sad. Um, by giving it masses of shelter and... Um, shade it's done quite well so it's it's coming on going green nice plant again it's a bit boring it's a bit ordinary all summer but in the winter that green bark will really shine through so we're looking forward to that and it's, it's done really pretty well so we'll give it a four out of five and here we have crimson queen the sort of one that paired up i bought that about the same time as the neighbor shadara suffering really the same same kind of thing really so I, it should be do better than this so uh, if I can get that bamboo wall up and running that that side of the fence will be uh, very useful atropoporium here another one um, again doing really well so pleased with that and once again it, it, I'm evaluating me really and I like that if it's my fault these trees haven't done so well some of them well I can do something about it so that's my philosophy I suppose so you saw some plenty of new growth there Three out of five, I've given this loads of shelter, loads of TLC. It's not done spectacularly well. It just is what it is, really. So I might try and review how I can do something better next year. Macaats abusers, that's silly me. I put it in too much sun, really. 
Um, it is renowned to be um, sun tolerant, but I just think it was too immature a tree. And it's it's I've over potted it in that pot to be honest as well. So hopefully it's been burrowing its way down and making a great root system for next year. And the uh, one of my two blood goods um, in the corner here. Note this one's a really lovely purpley colour. Um, it's grown really well. It's in a place where it's now offering shelter to some of the other plants as well, really. And just look at that new growth again there. So um, quite happy with that one. Osakazuki as well. A little bit of burning on one or two of the leaves there on the left hand side. But overall, considering this is quite a big broadleaf plant that can suffer wind and sun damage quite a lot, really, I'm pretty pleased with it. And we'll wait because it should have some marvellous autumn colours. Ryusen again was on that fence where all the wind hits it. You can probably see some wind damage. It, it was mainly on the end of the um, branches, I think, where they get flung around by the wind a lot. And that causes some damage. But relocating it with some more shelter has uh, certainly done the trick. So I still get that 4 out of 5. It's, it's doing pretty well. Red Flamingo, interesting one. I think this is one that's actually suffered from the heat we had in this country, in the UK. Um, many of the plants have actually not not been too fussed by it, but this has not been out in the sun. It, it's not been abused. It's got the same TLC as everything else. But uh, this and this paper maple here, I just think they're sort of broad type of leaves have, have really suffered from the extreme heat more than more than some of the others, believe it or not. Um, and even some of the deciduous trees, just, just you see in down the road of all sorts of varieties, are pretty much the same. So I think they'll be fine, but. Uh, Hopefully better next year. This dissects on the other hand, really pleased with it. Um, it seems to have just the right amount of the sun to give the, the leaves some lovely colour. Um, it's sort of a nice mix of green and reds there. So happy, happy as Larry with that one, really. This is a butterfly. Um, it's quite an embarrassment, but, you know, I'm on this channel to try and help people. So this is one I put out in the ground. I, I think I've really waterlogged it, to be honest. Um, I was measuring the sort of water in the orange dream next to it um, and going off that and it, it, it's the wrong thing to do. But this butterfly here in a pot under my control, under my supervision, really happy with it. Um, the heat just hasn't affected it, X, Y, Z, wind not really. But I think because it's in shade, it's really, really thrived this year. Wendy, one of the new uh, six acquisitions I made from Dorset. Um, there's a video on that if you would like to watch. Again, done really well. A little bit of um, wind burn on some of the leaves, the one at the bottom of the next tree to it, but uh, done pretty well, really. This is contifolium. My fault again, broadleaf plant. Um, didn't really like being in so much direct sunlight, but I've rescued it. I put it somewhere better, so we'll call it a three out of five. And a bit over potted, so again, probably do better next year. This Okushima, which I really, really like, actually, um, is the opposite, though. I put it in a larger pot. It loved it. It's just absolutely grown and thrived. So you never can tell, really. Um, or certainly I can't, but really happy with that one. Viridus, again, it's done okay. Um, the leaves are a bit crispy again, just slightly. It's all right. Expected more from it. You probably just see on the end there, there's some nice growing tips sort of growing through for next year. So... Uh, again, I'm expecting a lot from that next uh, next time round. The Wilson's Pink Dwarf was already sort of growing quite well when I bought it, to be honest with you, and it's just carried on like that. So I think this will be great because it's grown a lot in one year, but it is a dwarf, so it'll sort of grow fast and then settle down. Once again, the Orium, I'm still going to give it a 3 out of 5 because it's okay, it's going to be fine, I think. But uh, big, these, again, these, these broadleaf um, varieties... Did need a bit more TLC than I gave it, really. But it's still done okay. And another Shishigashira. With, with a bit of shade to it, I'm giving this a 4, 5 out of 5, actually. It's it's done really, really well. It will tolerate full sun, to be honest, uh, this particular cultivar. Um, but this is one I'm giving to my daughter, because I've got two of them eventually. So I'm glad that's doing okay. Are we done in a shiki, if I pronounce that right? Lovely little tree. You can see the damage I did to it last year by giving it far too much exposure. Um, it's done better. I'll still give it three out of five. There's a lot of work to do with that one, but uh, not too bad. And this Hirato in a shiki as well. I probably may have been a bit hard on myself. It's, it's done all right, but uh, 
again expose it too much at the beginning of the season and damage some of the leaves so it's a bit sparse in places might even trim that back next year we'll have to see the hub's red willow i think i'm going to really enjoy this because i like kota Nuito and this is its kind of um red brother really so hopefully that's going to work really well moonrise once again we can see um that's done pretty well actually yeah i'm quite happy with that there are one or two burnt leaves i mean if i strip those off it would look pretty pristine but um because it's been in shade because it's been protected um not not unhappy with that that plant at all and this yeah what a what a great little little tree um bought from pack pack horse nurseries Everything I buy from there seems to do really well, to be honest with you. Um, just taken off. And again, plenty of shade. The, the heat didn't didn't affect it. Um, this one, on the other hand, Trompenberg, well, not happy, not too happy at all. I mean, I don't think I've damaged the plant too much, really, but I was expecting more. And this, again, I think was really the heat wave that we had. So it, it did seem to be affected by it more than most. Mono Nosato, um looks great in spring actually this tree and has done perfectly well you know it's grown on it it's fine um again a little bit of bit of burn there but nothing special and here we have the orange dream that i've put there um has, has done really well in that small pot actually really grown grown on and offered a bit of protection to the others it's sort of uh, it's baby brothers really so pleased with that one cripsy um a bit like Shishi she, she Kashira this one and I have actually seen a full version of it which is lovely um, down in Dorset in the UK but uh, it's done okay it, it's not put on loads of growth but it, it's a, a dwarf plant nothing wrong with that at all the Ukaguma I think I've actually been overprotective um, it's gone sort of very pinky greeny whatever I don't think those big leaves are regression I think they actually turn into the smaller leaves it's a kind of crazy tree really but uh, hopefully we'll get that a bit whiter next year sharon um good job that's the name of my wife as some might know so it's a good job this one's done all right um this is her plant of course not mine um but seriously yeah really enjoyed that and because i've kept it in some shade it's got those lovely sort of strangely colored leaves which i really like the jordan was a big learning um again some of them have learned some lovely leaf color and it's it's a knife edge plant because if you give it a bit of sun it sort of goes a bit yellowy and it develops, de develops some color but here i did just put it in direct sunlight so this is one it isn't heat that's the problem it's direct sunlight that's the problem those big broad leaves just seem to suffer katsura there's no problems with this plant and maybe three out of five is harsh but i did put it in a very exposed area and it, it's crisped up quite a bit really um it, this has also caused the leaves to sort of go more autumnal early on but as you can see, there's, it's pretty healthy. It, it's going to do okay. Um, but I kind of used it as a bit of a sacrificial plant to shade, shade the others. But perhaps that wasn't quite the right thing to do for it, really. Kejun I just don't mention this one. This is um, a not an acer. Um, it's a cherry tree, a cherry blossom tree. Um, but uh, just turning lovely colours, so I thought I meant I'd drop it in, really. And a little unsung hero, Dissector and Filigree. This is within the same place, basically, uh, as red wine. And again, little filigree, you know, leaves and all the rest of it haven't been phased by the wind, actually. So it just sort of makes me think about, you know, wind, heat, direct sun. We, we put them all together, but it's not necessarily the case. Um, this little ginkgo was tiny when I bought it, only a few quid, and that's doing quite well. So we'll keep an eye on that one. And here we on to some of the big boys. So Siriu, what a tree. Um, you know, this is a good combination of me and the tree working in harmony, I suppose, really. But I've really, really enjoyed this this uh, particular cultivar. It's fast growing, it's hardy, it's just done really well. As is this blood good. Um, I know some of the leaves there are turning a little bit, but overall it's got this lovely red colour because it's been in sunlight. So the one earlier was purple, but in the sunlight it's just turned this lovely uh, hue, really. There's one called Anirene, uh, which I believe might be some uh, suffering some regression back to summer gold, I've been told. So we'll look at that next year because some of the leaves have sort of changed a little bit. But overall, it's pretty sun tolerant for um, a yellow leaf tree. And I've sort of rescued it by putting it in there. 
to Ombi's Red Sentinel again, four out of five. This one's creeping up on me. Um, it seems to put on these sneaky growth spurts, and because they're vertical, you don't really notice. But uh, this tree has actually come on really quite nicely this year, um, and we've formed a very, very tight column, um, which should look nice. Little Princess, one of my favourites. It, it doesn't have to be a great, big, impressive tree to uh, to work really well. Um, there's room for one of these in every patio, and I think uh, I haven't done anything special with this. It's 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 quite tolerant. It's it's done very well. And we've crept in with another six out of five here. Um, I'm so pleased I put this in direct direct sun um, because it's just made the tree so much more interesting. The bark is a vivid, vivid red colour, which is amazing. Um, and it, it's it's really done so well. Um, again, in the, my Western Bit video, you'll see lots of these, um, and rightly so. And not forgetting little Garnet out the front. Um, he just ticks along, um, quite happy, really. Um, it's retained quite a nice red colour the whole summer. And I've learned this year that the sun in the morning and the evening in the summer does come round and give it some light, actually. So that that's quite viable. And we've got the orange dream that I've got out the front of the, sorry, down the side of the house. Um, again, some crispy leaves there. I can't control this, but wow, this this has grown so much. So this is the same age, roughly, as the orange dream that's out the back. But with unlimited resources, uh, that's what happens. So that's a quick tour of the, uh, the plants. Um, really, really hope you enjoyed that. And I hope it maybe encourages you to do a video of your own um, trees, etc. Just to keep a nice record, really. Um, I remember my dad used to take video and it was on Cinefilm and he only had four minutes or whatever. It's amazing what we can do with uh, with this modern technology and keep just a, a nice record of uh, what's gone by. So we'll be going back to um, Western Burt soon, uh, Batsford Arboretum, other places, because it's uh, nearly the autumn. Um, or the fall, as you say, in the States. So hope you continue with me on the journey. Um, do like and subscribe and press the notification button too if you'd like to be known, like to know when the, the more videos land. Um, a pleasure as always, and we'll see you very soon.